Ahoy Rovers! Well, in the last episode you saw me laminate up these great big blanks here. They're, they're three sheets of plywood all scarfed together. And this week we're sizing them up to go on the male mold. Now bear in mind this mold is actually upside down. So when I put these lower pieces on, they're actually the upper sides of the hull. Anyway, pretty exciting stuff. A lot's going to happen very rapidly, or at least I hope so. Anyway, as always, time to crack on. So we've mixed in our fibers and that's what we're looking at. See, it's pretty stiff. That's excellent for glue, especially considering how well I've wetted out the joint already. So I'll just spread this out on the joint right now. And then Brian McIsaac is going to give me a hand to flip it over. Well, here we have just our latest scarf joint. It's three panels all together, and you know, I have to say that the more I do of these scarf joints, the better they get. I mean, look at this. It's almost like we have worked out the perfect amount of glue. Anyway, just a light sanding, and this one is done. So I'm temporarily holding the plywood panels against the temporary frames using clamps and some screws with washers. Now it's really important to ensure that there's a tight fit between the stringer and the plywood. Now that the panels are leaned against the temporary frames, it's a good time to mark where the chines are located. So I've taken the plywood panel, I've laid it flat again, and this time I'm going to connect all those points from the chines with a thin piece of pine, and I have it bent in a nice fair line, and I'm drawing a nice gentle curve. So what I'm doing right here, Rovers, is I have a full width blank on the bottom and then I have the pattern that I've just held up to the mold and I've, I've uh, put my lines on it and then I've used a batten to make sure they're fair. So now I'm going to transfer these lines directly to this sheet because I know both sides of the hull are identical. And once I get these lines transferred, then I just use the jigsaw and I cut them. The scarf joint, and it runs like that. So there's one side, there's the other side. Let's just test it. So what happened was the plywood broke, but not the scarf joint. The scarf joint is still intact. Now before the big glue up, I've taken a little bit of time just to fare the stringer just as it enters where the stem is. It only takes a few minutes with a block plane.
So I'm just putting together this little extra brace on the bow because it takes tremendous strain when you bend the plywood on it and uh, I just don't want anything to snap or move out of place. So it only takes a few seconds and, and really this is done just like you would a house rafter. All right, the big glue up of the side is about to start. Okay, let's uh... Get out from the stringer there, Brian? Yeah. I think if you line up the top lines might be easiest. Okay, and then in tight on the bottom. Uh, how are our lines with you? Looks like the knee a little bit. Okay. There. there. Everything else looks good. Okay. So I'll just get one at the back here. The bride hold in pressure at the bottom. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thanks. Well, Rovers, we have a really exciting day planned here. We're going to put the second side on the boat. Uh, yesterday, we put the first side on. It went really well. You use a lot of clamps and you just have to be well prepared. So in a few hours time, we should have something that really, really looks like a Wave Rover 650. Anyway, a lot to do, time to crack on. Now, after the glue has set up, I've unclamped the side and I've taken the temporary brace off the stem and now the glue has locked the stem into its correct position. And the final step before putting glue on the panels is to mark the panels so that we can get them exactly where we want when we've applied the glue.
Okay, great. Great. We can move this one, Brian, down probably to about here. Okay. Good. Well, it's an honor to add two new names to the Benefactors bulkhead, Francois Siscos and Dan Siebens. Now, these folks have made a donation of $100 US or more, and their names will be written on a bulkhead inside Wave Rover and will travel with me on her circumnavigation. These funds are much appreciated. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Wave Rover patrons whose pledges of support contribute to the making of these videos in so many ways. So a great big thank you. Well, Rovers, what a week we just had. We got the plywood on the boat. We've secured it to the stringer and also to the stem. You know, uh, psychologically, that is a big boost. It's a big step forward for the Wave Rover 650 project. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to be putting the uh, bottom on the boat, and that'll have two layers. It'll be very interesting uh, how I'm going to figure that out, which I haven't figured out just yet, but I will have it figured out soon. Anyway, until next time, Rovers, thanks for watching.